This is the EZ Titrator Plus Auto Titrator Apparatus. It is used for both Carl Fischer titrations and potentiometric titrations. This is the titration vessel placed on EZ Stir. A Carl Fischer electrode and a titrant dosing tube are inserted into the vessel. Other components of EZ Titrator Plus comprise of the burette assembly connecting the reservoir bottle and the dosing tube in the titration vessel. This is the user-friendly touch-enabled graphical interface. This is the home screen. For setting the Carl Fischer titration method, go to the configure menu and click on set method. In the sample data screen, select the titer mode for determining the titer value of the titrant. Ten microliter of water as standard is taken in a syringe and the total weight is noted down. From the home screen, the stirrer speed is gradually increased for pre-stirring the contents in the titration vessel before the addition of the standard. To start the test, go to Run menu. Wait till the initial potential of the methanol in titration vessel is between 600 to 650 millivolts. Once the potential is reached, a window will appear for addition of the weight of standard. The weight sample is added to the titration vessels. and the empty weight of the syringe is noted down. The total weight of the syringe with the standard is added in the window and clicked on OK to start the addition of titrant. In the initial 30 seconds, the added standard is pre-stirred in the titration vessel. Post the stirring, the Carl Fischer reagent is dosed into the titration vessel, automatically till the initial potential between 600 to 650 millivolts is reached. Once the potential is reached, a window will appear for the addition of the empty holder weight. The empty weight of the syringe is added and pressed on OK. To view the results, go to Record from the home screen. Click on Titration. A table of all the previous analyses would appear on the screen. The two tighter runs are selected and the average is found out and viewed in the average report. Click on Transfer to Buret to include the tighter value in the analysis report of the sample. Similarly, the RSD of the tighter values are determined by selecting the tighter runs and clicking on RSD from the screen. The RSD can be viewed in the report. Ideally, the RSD of the tighter runs is expected to be below the limit of 2%. If the RSD is found to be higher than 2%, it is recommended to run the tighter determination till it is within the limit. To create a method for sample moisture determination, go to Configure menu and click on the Set method. In the Sample Data screen, the mode is changed to Sample. Ten microliter of the sample is weighed using a syringe and then fill weight is determined. The stirrer speed is gradually increased through the home screen for pre-stirring the contents in the titration vessels before the addition of the sample. To start the analysis, go to run and the potential of the methanol in the titration vessel is determined. Carl Fischer reagent is added gradually till the potential of the solution is between 600 to 650 millivolts automatically. 
Once the potential is reached between 600 to 650 millivolts, a window for the addition of the sample weight will be displayed. 10 microliter of the sample is added into the titration vessel ensuring that it falls directly into the vessel and not at the electrode or the wall of the vessel in order to eliminate irreproducible and inaccurate results. Post the sample addition, the empty weight of the syringe is weighed and the holder weight is noted down. Enter the total weight of syringe with sample and press on OK. The test starts with an initial pre-stirring of the contents in the titration vessel and the titrant is added into the vessel till the neutralization is achieved. The titrant is added till the initial potential is restored. On completion of titration, a window for the addition of the holder weight will be displayed. Enter the weight and press OK. To view the results, go to Records from the home screen, click on Titration. Check the average by selecting the two sample runs from the table. Similarly, determine the RSD of samples by selecting the sample runs and clicking on RSD. The RSD can be viewed in the report. The RSD of less than 2% indicates minimum variations in the test sample results. In this way, the moisture determinations of the sample can be conducted using the EZ Titrator Plus.